It's Madre Lier and I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to show you guys how to do your brows. So you're going to learn how to get nice full and thick brows so pay attention. So once you brush your brows up and have them going in one direction, you're going to basically go ahead and follow the shape of your own brow. We're going to fill in where there's some sparse hair is going on. You want to make sure that you're making light strokes, light short strokes. You don't want to make them really dark and really heavy. Um, you want to make sure that you're also taking a brush or a spoolie to kind of blend that color into your brows by softening it up. Um, remember, this is how we're going to get soft, nice, full brows, not thick, harsh ones. Guess I'm not into you that much. We are about to sculpt our brow out, so we're going to go ahead and take some concealer that we've warmed up on the back of our hand, and we're going to go ahead and outline our brow. So in the previous video, I said that I usually take a color that is about the same shade as my skin tone. Um, I would recommend doing the same thing here if you're not really going to do like a detailed makeup look. Something simple, like, you know, something just to get you out the door, I would go ahead and do a soft color, the same color as your skin tone, just to go ahead and make them look natural. This is also a really good trick when you're in between like waxing or um, you know arching your brows. Um, this will help you to not have to do it so often because you can take the concealer and cover up any hairs that are growing back in. Here's something you can think about. You play me good, there's no doubt. But you're the one that's missing out. So once you go ahead and sculpt your brow with your concealer, you're going to take a fluffy blending brush, excuse me, <laughs> to basically soften that concealer up. Sometimes I like to let my concealer sit a little bit longer so that it can kind of, you know, dry down some and be a little thick. And that way I get really good coverage when I blend my concealer out. So what's the personal preference if you want to go above your brow? Um, you don't always have to do it because it looks a little bit more natural when you don't go over your brow with your concealer, but it's up to you what you want to do. Okay, so everything that we just did on the other side, we're going to do on this side. So again, we're just taking short, um, thin strokes and filling in our brows. You want to do it really heavy. You don't want to do it really dark. Um, you know, just want to do light, short, thin strokes. So an important thing that I always try to remember when I'm doing my brows is that brows are always going to be sisters, but they're never going to be twins. Meaning that you should never get mad at yourself when you can't get them to match exactly. Um, your face is not always symmetrical, so don't get mad when one is like a little bit thicker or you know a little bit more curvy than the other one. Just use your concealer to clean it up and you know bear with yourself. It's a learning process and it gets easier the more that you do it. So once I basically finish my brows out, I go ahead and take the brow pencil and just kind of spool that color through it just to make sure everything's even and soft. And I hit it with the concealer and then I'm done. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. This is a very short, easy tutorial on brows. Make sure that you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can catch up on any upcoming content. Yeah.